Yeah. All right, good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to our special meeting set for February 28th, 2022 at 6.30 p.m. here at the Shelter House. Welcome, everyone. Glad you could make it. Uh, Ms. Burner, if you would call roll, please. Yeah. Mayor Lowry. Here. Vice Mayor Grimm. I'm here. Councilman Vaughn. Here. Councilman Cook. Here. Councilman Lindsay. Here. Councilman Roadwald. Here. <clears throat> Six members present. Yeah, thank you very much. And tonight's invocation will be done by Julie Driscoll from Family Youth Initiatives. on minutes now communication uh we'll do the interview of the three applicants that we got for the city council seat um so um, <laughs> i guess we'll just uh we'll just start go through them here so i guess uh, we'll have mr cress if you want you can set center or counselor is he good where he's at i can see okay is he all right where he's seated it's fine with me all right. all right we'll just go down the list mr cook if you have any questions Tom, I've got several questions, and I'm going to ask all of the applicants these same questions. So don't feel by your lonesome if you don't quite understand what I'm asking. All right. Have you read the charter? I have. Okay. Have you attended uh, any council meetings other than the last couple that I have seen you at? I have. Okay. Do you fully understand the job that is before you if you were to be placed on council? I do. Okay. I'm done. All right. Mr. Bond. Tom. Um, what would you say is one of your best character qualities that you would bring to council? That's a good one. Um, I would probably say a sense of realism. Not that the council isn't real, but everybody always tells me that I shoot straight. You know, I, I don't give it any fluff. If, if it's black, it's black. If it's white, it's white. And you know exactly what you're going to get with me. And those of you that know me outside of here, I think you would probably say that's true as well. Okay. What would you say? Uh, well, let me think how I want to phrase this. Um, when it comes to the U.S. Constitution, what role does that play in how we conduct things here as a city? I think it plays a large role. Um, when you look at the Constitution of Ohio, it's based similarly to the U.S. Constitution um, as far as structure and even some of the verbiage. Um, as a city, um, as any public official, uh, I think it's our duty to uphold the Constitution of the U.S. I believe that it is the supreme law of the land. Uh, I believe it was uh, made that way uh, a long time ago with a lot of foresight uh, before any of us were ever around the course. And uh, I'm still amazed at some of the things that that we find within the Constitution, but also things that other people pull out of it. So, so to me, that's the supreme law of the land, and I don't think that the city should be doing anything that would violate anyone's rights under the Constitution. Sir, Mr. we interviewed this gentleman a while back, and I asked my questions, and I was satisfied with his answers. All right, um, pretty much the same, Tom. I know. Twelve years. 
years now, I think, we're coming up on 12 or 13 years <coughs> that we've lived within the city of New Carlisle. Um, and, and I kind of feel like I'm not doing my best as a citizen of the city if I'm not doing something to give back to the city in one way, shape, or another. Um, you know, I'm involved with other groups here locally within the school district and within the city. This is just one more avenue that I feel that I have something to give. Um, and to me, it just wouldn't be right if I didn't at least put that forward. Now, of course, I don't have the final say in that. Council does. Mm -hmm. But if I don't stand up and say, hey, I'm willing to serve, to me, that's shame on me. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Redwell. Mr. Chris, where do, you, uh, where do you think the city falls short? I think the city falls short. In, what, what kind of aspect do you start talking in general, or is there a specific venue? Like financial area? work. No, just in general. I mean, I mean, obviously everyone can improve on everything, but where do you think the city needs its, uh, it, it falls, I guess I want to say the shortest, but where do you, the most improvement? The most improvement would be businesses. We have a large bedroom community, I think it's no secret here for New Carlisle. Not a lot of people that live in New Carlisle work in New Carlisle. I think we need more businesses, whether it's retail, light industrial, uh, manufacturing, something along those lines. We have enough property surrounding us that you know i think we have a lot to offer for a business to come in we have business areas buildings open within the city limits i mean we've got three two or three sitting up there by iga and i know for a fact that the association i'm associated with tried to rent one of those for the past year and still have not received a call back on them. We, we have tons of space and plenty of room to grow for business as well as residential. I'm not saying that we shouldn't go after residential, but I think for the biggest lacking area right now is business. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Riddle. Mr. Lindsay, sir. I wasn't going to ask him any questions tonight because the three we've interviewed already, but uh, I do have a question that I thought of that I'll probably ask all three of them. Uh, and you two can't listen to my cock question right now. You have to close your ears off, the two ladies. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. the, uh, as regard to the U.S. Constitution and the state constitution, do you think or believe all decisions should be based according to constitution since it's the supreme law of the land? In government, let me rephrase, in yeah. government. Yes. Um, I don't think that a city, a county, a state should do anything that would violate the U.S. Constitution, the state constitution, the charter for that city, the, the bylaws for that county, et cetera. If those are based on the U.S. Constitution, I don't think I have mean, anything to worry about. If they're not based on the principles of the U.S. Constitution, then you might have some problems. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lindsay. Actually, now that he asked a question, if you don't mind, I want to ask. Absolutely, absolutely. So do you, I just want to make sure I understood. I mean, do you, th do you think it's, and, and I'm not saying this like in a condescending way, like you sure. think it's our fault, but I mean, do you think that there's not, there, that we could have more business because council or, or city could do better? I mean, because I've heard similar things about the, the, the um, evening, sir. Um, that the, uh, the the buildings up there you referred to that they're hard to get a hold of and their, their prices are just through the roof I've heard I mean I've never checked myself but I mean what, what do you have an idea that you think would that would attract business as far as from a city standpoint I think that the council could ask for or incorporate into the tasks of the city manager, the city planners, developers, to make that more of a priority. Okay. I, and again, I don't have those inner workings, but from a citizen's perspective, it does not appear as though that's a priority. Okay. It appears that it's a priority for residents, community, you know, people, which is like I said, is not bad, but if you're ranking them in priority, to me, business, I think is where we're lacking the most. Thank you. All right. Anything else for Mr. Kress? All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, we'll go on to Ms. Plants. 
Council, are you okay with her sitting where she's at? Can everyone see her? I think we had to make her move just so her daughter feels uncomfortable. You should sit closer to her and give her. I'm a big just hug. kidding. It was a joke. I just soon as soon as soon as soon as that young lady got up, she she was. So I just figured, you know. Um, real quick, I will jump in and ask a question, which I, um, I think a couple of us were going to ask, unrelated to your interview. Did you pick your your pat your uh, your paperwork up at the uh, city building? Your your um, your application. application. Thank you. No, I printed that off myself. Okay, from the website. Okay. <laughs> Did you notice? Oh, my the, green paper? Yes. the green paper isn't the problem. The paper at the top is the problem that it's not for council. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I went off the website. I went to the city website to get it. Yeah, it. Um, let me go back to it. It's it's the uh, board and board board committee's application. Oh, that's nice. um, yeah, application for board and committee membership. So um, I'll ask Mr. Jeffries on this one. We know what she was intending to apply for. Is she still allowed to be considered? Uh, you want to, I could probably answer that for uh, you, sir. Probably. <laughs> I was going to say, she, I mean, she put in there city council board. Yeah, it says right? city council. You know, she's, she's written her reply as a, for council purposes. I don't, I just think they need to apply like I don't think there are any specifics on how they have to do it uh, okay. technically okay but uh, maybe the legal ad I don't I'm not sure what the legal ad says it doesn't specify paperwork type it just says the application can be right. found online or at the city office okay so application for board committee member but you know what she's got written down as a council. I don't see any problem with it. Yeah, I mean I don't. I mean I don't see an issue with it. And if Mr. Attorney's giving me the okay, then yeah, I think it's fine. Okay. All right. Um, we'll start off with uh, you, Mr. Lindsay, if that's all right. We'll just. We'll just. Okay. Well, I can go first if you want. Uh, <clears throat> bouncing around here. How are you this evening? The uh, same question that I asked uh, Mr. Kress, do you think that the Constitution of the United States is the supreme law of the land? And should all decisions made by any government entity be conformed to the Constitution and the Ohio State Constitution along with our charter and stuff here in the city? I, I, I'm going to ask you a question I did not ask him because I know you all back there listening to me and forming your answers. So I'm going to mix it up some, and I really have a good one for the next contestant. Uh, <laughs> have you ever taken a constitutional course? Other than high school now. Pardon me? Other than high school now. They didn't give it in high school, but they did talk about it in Why high school. And I don't even think they talk about it now in high school. I, I was just curious. When we went, Mr. McKinney made sure of it. Okay. All right. Thank you. That's all. All right. Thank you, sir. Mr. Roadwell. Um, I have no questions. I mean, I remember her from her last interview, and, you know, I'm satisfied with, with the responses. All right. Thank you, sir. I'll just ask the same one, even though I, I asked the same question. What, what, what is your reason? What motivates you to want to be on city council? very much Mr. Vice Mayor. Uh, what uh, characteristics or talents did you bring to this council? Um, so my kids actually are annoyed with me at this. I'm very creative and like to be crafty and I always get on them like come on think of something you know like my kids just had a 4-H meeting yesterday and they had to come up to the meeting and kind of present themselves to everyone and I said, come on, guys, think of ways to, like, you know, express yourself or make a poster. And, you know, my son's 18, 
didn't go too well with him. But my daughter, I'm like, you know, you like to bathe, so let's just pick up some cookies and, you know, that tells you about yourself. You like to bathe. So, yeah, I like to, I like to bathe as well, but I'm very crafty and can come up Would that be with cookies things. at every meeting? No. No. Oh. Because, <laughs> again, I got to come free from work, so I can't make them there. <laughs> but, yeah, so. Thank you. Mr. Bond? Similar question, <clears throat> but this is the same question I, I asked Mr. Kress, but um, what is one of your best character qualities that you would bring to council, you think? Um, I don't like to BS anybody, but at the same time, like I know when enough is enough. You know what I mean? Like I know how to be straightforward, but I know how to put it politely, I guess is the best way to say it, and not be rude about it. Or like bite somebody's head off, because some people have a tendency to bite catch more flies with honey than vinegar. Yes, yes. Well, she would tell a few people who have left letters at my door. I try, but there's sometimes that, you know, you reach your limit on that too. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Bond. Mr. Cook. Let me explain. It's all I ask you the same questions I ask of Mr. Guest. Have you read the charter? Yes, sir. All right. And have you attended any other council meetings other than the last couple? Of I haven't attended, but I do watch them online. Okay. Just with COVID and everything, my work was really restricted before as far as we can't. We have to watch who works for those two types of things because they will take it off work and then not pay you, <laughs> which kind of sucks. But. And I assume you are saying that basically you, you have looked at the last situation in regard to this annexation and... Oh, I was here for that. Okay. <laughs> so basically I would say that you're understanding what council's job is? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, Mr. Cook. Thank you very much, Ms. Plants. And we'll move on to Ms. Eggleston. Hey, you want to move up like one or two, sir? Because I can't see you. Yeah, up here in front of the first row so we can see her. Oh, God, I didn't hear it. Hey, you can have this seat. Oh. All right. Uh, Mr. Vice Mayor, you want to start us off? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Peggy, where would you like to see New Kalau four years from now? And what, if you were a member of council, would you do to achieve that goal? New Kalau needs to have a better sense of community and Hey, again, I will ask you the same. I know that in my past dealings with you and having been on council with you for a couple of years, that you have un understandably read the charter. And I know that you have attended council meetings. And I think that I basically can say that you understand what the job of doing council is since you have been on for the past years. Yeah. No. All right. Um, I'll just ask my same question, which you kind of already answered, but what, what made a vote, what made it motivate you to want to be on council? I mean, what's the drive? 
to continue and finish the work that I started when I was on the floor. Fair enough. Thank you. Mr. Robal. I have nothing for Peg. Um, I've been yeah. working with her for the last year and a half. And, right. Uh, so, thank you. And Mr. Lindsay. I'm still thinking of a certain question for her. Uh, <clears throat> actually, I do have several. <laughs> the, uh, well, I didn't ask you any last time because uh, I read your, your stuff, and it pretty much says the same thing that you tell us when, when we interview you. But uh, I will ask you on the Constitution, do you believe the Constitution of the United States, the uh, Ohio Constitution, and our charter is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution of the United States is the supreme law of the land. The state should follow that and the charter should follow that. Exactly. Thank you. Uh, the, uh, I know some of them has already asked you why you want to continue back on council and you, you said to finish what you have started. The, uh, the, uh, I hate it when you're old and your mind goes away. <laughs> the, uh, let's see. What else besides businesses and housing would you like to see happen in New Carlisle? Can you clarify for myself and council when you say Hispanic, who, I think I know who you're talking about, but can you tell me who you're talking about? Is it uh, uh, like the Mexicans or the, uh, uh, I can't think of the country down in South America where they're coming from, uh, Cambodia and stuff like, not Cambodia, it's over by Vietnam. Uh, <laughs> You know, the, we have a lot of immigrants coming out of South America. Right. And I, there are various countries. Uh, are you talking about all of them as, as one or We've just got, a certain no. group? Or? We've got Hispanic population in Nicaragua is not only Mexican, but it's also Latino, Latino, Hispanic, 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 How, do, how would you propose to do that? I mean, have our meetings translated into to their language? Because um, so, most of them that I have talked to and, and have come across, and I'm even friends with some, believe it or not, uh, they, uh, they speak very well, very good English. In fact, most of them will speak better English than Americans do, quite honestly. Uh, they're very, the ones that I have talked to and have run across seems to be very well educated. Uh, most of them are really friendly, you know, uh, they, they, they would go out of their way to help you if you ask them. And, and I mean, that's my experience. The, uh, but I agree with you, I think the Hispanic community, we should try to involve them more in, in our meetings and just in things in general in the community, you know. Uh, I know they, for the Heritage of Flight Festival, they come out for that. Uh, I don't know if, they, if they're into cars or not, because I don't hit the car show anymore, but, but uh, I think you have, you have some good ideas there that could, could be uh, put forth. And I'll stop there. I'm not gonna ask you the other question, I'll All right, anyone else? 
Mr. Mayor, sure. I just have one follow-up for Peggy. When you say you want to finish what you started on council, um, what do you mean by that? I had started working with two groups out of Springfield on um, integrating with the Hispanic community. Okay. Continue with that. I didn't know if it was something other than the, the integration of the Hispanics or um, I had and you know, I, I had come up with the idea of coffee and donuts and oh. just to cook help me out on that one. That's but, an awesome um, idea, but I think she should pay for it too. <laughs> or did you? Yeah, it's just been I had a I in two years I served, I had a good enjoy being out and going down and visiting the businesses and attending all of the events and talking to citizens and I just like to continue doing that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you, sir. All right, anything else? All right, that is it. So <clears throat> what we'll do now is thank you all three of you for your time. Uh, communications, uh, see manager support, no comments from members of the public. Any questions, comments tonight? All right. And then committee reports, non resolutions and ordinances, none. Other business, none. So now we'll go into executive session. So I'll need a motion to do so. So we'll move. Second. Uh, I'll go with Mr. Lindsay and second by Mr. Vice Mayor. Okay. Councilman Bond? Yes. Councilman Cook? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. Councilman Roadwald? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm? Yes. Motion passes 6 0. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So this time we'll move into um, executive session to discuss the candidates. And then when we're done, we'll call everybody back in. Move. We go back into regular session. Second. Yeah. Motion by Mr. Lindsay, second by Mr. <coughs> Vice Mayor Grimm. All right. Councilman Bond? Yes. Councilman Cook? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. Councilman Roadwell? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm? Yes. Passes 6 0. Okay. I would need a motion to open, uh, per our last runaround, a motion to open Mr. the. Mayor? I'll make a motion to Peggy V. Uh, no, we have to open the. I need a motion to open. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, not negotiations. You threw me off track. And to open no, our no, nomination. No, no, no. Not negotiate. Second. First letter right, we'll give you credit there. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Lindsay, second by Mr. Bond. Bond. Bon. Mr. Mayor. Oh, we got a vote. Yes. <laughs> Everybody's Council getting excited. Council Council Calm down. Councilman Cook. Calm down. <laughs> you got plenty of time. Councilman Cook. Yes. Councilman Lindsay. Yes. Councilman Roadwald. Yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Vice Mayor Graham. Yes. Councilman Bond. Yes. Um, yeah. um, Mr. Mayor. Just a second. Okay. Uh, again, thank you for the three of you for applying. I was actually expecting we'd have a lot more, but we did not. So thank you to three of you. Sir. I move that we accept uh, Thomas Cress to fill the vacant seat in the expired term. I forget when it ends. When uh, 2026. 12, yeah, 2031. 1231 25. 25, okay. Second. Finish that term. Motion for Mr. Cress by Mr. Lindsay and second by Mr. Vice Mayor Grimm. Okay. Um, I can't remember. Do we need to vote on? No, we don't. No. Never mind. Okay. Any other nominations? Yeah, I'm sorry. Mr. Mayor. Sir. I yes, make a motion that Peggy be appointed to the empty position. Okay. Second. <clears throat> Second. Yes. Sorry. Mr. Mayor. Any other nominations? Sir, Mr. Lindsay. We close nominations. All right. A second. Second. Thank you, Mr. Baum. Should we explain that Amanda Law? What's that? No. Okay. Okay. Voting on closing nominations. Please. Councilman Cook? 
to close. Close. close the nomination. Yep. <laughs> yes. Councilman Lindsay. Yes. Councilman Roadwell. <clears throat> yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm. Yes. Councilman Bond. Yes. Motion passes 6 0. All right. And now we're going back to vote for Mr. Kress. My first was Lindsay. My second was Grimm. So I start with Councilman Bond. Yes. Councilman Cook? No. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. Councilman Roadwald? No. Mayor Lowry? No. Vice Mayor Grimm? Yes. That is a 3-3 three, three split. We'll vote for Peggy Eggleston. And my first was Councilman Cook. And my second was Councilman Roadwald. So I will start with Mayor Lowry. Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm? No. Councilman Bond? No. Councilman Cook? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? No. And Councilman Roadwald? Yes. It's also a 3 3 split. All right. Unfortunately, I did not bring my book with me tonight, but basically what it's called. book? Yeah, the charter book. Thanks. I have it. You got it? Okay, thank you. I've been trying to read it. I walked, I walked away <laughs> it with it. It is a dry read. I already know what it says, but I'm going to try <laughs> and find it so I can read it real quick. Yeah, you have it. Do, 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 do. Basically, what it says is. Um, that's the same point. No, no, that's ours. Current city charter. Oh, okay. Got the point within 30 days. 4.07. You have within seven days yeah. after the 30 days are up. Right. Go point someone. But I'm the sole decider. Yes. Correct. And it can be done at this meeting. Mm, no, I don't think we're past the 30 days. We are not past no, the 30 it can days. Be done at this meeting. <clears throat> have to wait till 30 days ago. When did you announce it? The, ca the ad ran on the 10th, so technically today is day 19 of after the ad ran. Mm -hmm. So our next regular council meeting on the 7th would be day 26. So within that 30 day time frame, there go. you have seven days after that. If council members would do. I can't find the exact section I'm looking for. It's and I apologize, I should have had it. It's 4.07, 4 4.08. Yeah, 4.08. D. D, filling vacancies becomes yeah. vacant, yeah. council yeah. provide. Yeah. So no seven sooner than, be, yeah. Seventh would be day 26. Correct. Day 30 would be the 11th. Okay, yeah. So the next council meeting on the 21st will be after that seven days. Shall fill, yeah, shall fill the vacancy within 30 days of the publication of the notice of the original vacancy. The mayor shall do so by appointment within seven days. If council membership is reduced. Or, so within seven days of 30. the 30 expiring. So after it expires within seven days. Yes, wait till the third. Okay. All right, thank you. Third. So when would the third? <clears throat> I don't, didn't know I have my phone. When so would you're looking at the week of March 14th through the 18th. Well, you let. Um, Do we have a meeting that would. Does, Do not. does it have to wait? Yeah, it does. Yeah, you have to wait till the, after the 30 days, but within the seven. The. Uh, so it would be. Day three would technically be, day three of the seventh would be March 14th, that Monday of that week, because the 30 days would end on the 11th, Monday. March 11th. Mr. Mayor. Sir. I move that we set a special meeting for March 14th at 6.30 for the appointment of the new council member. What date did you say? March 14th, is that the one you said, Emily? Yeah, that would be day three of your, day, day of your three seven, of seven days. days. Okay. Yeah. So the third. 
the, you said the seventh? March 14th. 14th, sorry. It'll be day three of the seven. Seven day window. Yeah, yeah seven day window. I'll second that. And what time do you want to do it at? 6 30. Whatever time we want to do it at. Okay. Any discussion? No. When you're ready, Ms. Burner. And the second was Grim, correct? Okay. I'll start with Councilman Bond. Uh, yes. Councilman Cook? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. Councilman Roadwald? Since we can't appoint it today, yes. Uh, Mayor Lowry? Yes. And Vice Mayor Grimm? Yes. That motion passes 6 0. All right. Any other business? Yeah. Mr. I do. Oh, oh, go ahead, sir. I would like to uh, wish our chair of our uh, Park and Recs Committee a happy, happy, happy birthday. She's 29 today. Like starting a new job on your birthday. It's not really my birthday, but. Well, you're a leap year kid, so you're like seven. Uh, I mean, I'm nine. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You know. Thank you. Oh, because she was born on the 29th, so yeah. it isn't her birthday. Yeah. <laughs> no, but every, you know, everybody's always told me, you know, Bob, you're saying, you know, I'm 29, you celebrate on both days. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, Yes, happy birthday. Thank you. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Go have some margaritas. No. He's buying. No, that's He's buying. Bad news. <laughs> He's buying. Didn't end well, did it, huh? Uh, all right. Any other business? We'll go adjourn. Second. Motion by Mr. Vice Mayor, second by Mr. Lindsay. Councilman Roadwell. Yes. Mayor Lauer. Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm? Yes. Councilman Vaughn? Yes. Councilman Cook? Yes. Councilman? Yes. Motion passes 6-0. Mm -hmm. Very good.